Today we're going to be taking a look at Bosch's Bluetooth module. This has been out for a couple years, however until recently in the last year or so, Bosch really didn't make very many connected ready tools and more recently they also included some of their chargers that are connected ready as well. My goal here today, we'll quickly go through some of the features, then I'll get into a demo where I'll show you some of the things that you can do within the app while using some of these connected ready tools. The model number is GCY42 and this retails roughly around $20. It also comes with your 3 volt battery over here so you don't have to get that separately. The Bluetooth technology on this is 4.2 which is rated at around 100 feet max of range and that's important to keep in mind this isn't connected by Wi-Fi, it's Bluetooth so you have to be within 100 feet of your connected ready tools in order to use the app that's associated with this module. In regard to some of the features of this, and this really depends on the specific tool. So if we're looking at our drill over here, there's additional features that will allow you to adjust the kickback control on this. If you get into some of the hex impact drivers, and this one isn't connected ready here, but they make a similar connected ready as well, it gives you some additional features like a soft start feature where if you're working with some more fragile screws, you can dial that back a little bit so you don't strip those screws out. So it's really just kind of dependent on the specific tool that you're using. So all the tools are gonna to have potentially different features. And also more recently in the last couple months when they came out with this Bosch 16 amp charger, they also put their connected ready on here as well. And what that allows you to do, it gives you some additional features to kind of see what the health is on your battery. It's not necessarily just what the battery life is, it's supposedly there's some additional health features on this battery that you can do as well, which is kind of what I'm kind of interested to kind of see what that does. But again, as I mentioned there before, it's really just dependent on the tool. Not all the tools are capable of doing it. So if you're looking into getting one of these, you need to make sure it's a connected ready tool and it'll say that in the title and you can also tell by the tool it'll have this little connector right here versus if you look at tools like this you don't see that there so we know this one is not connected ready as we get it opened up here here's your module as mentioned there before it does also come with your three volt battery and then in here they just talk about some of the features on some of the tools and how to install and I'll show you how to do that here in a minute it's pretty straightforward but we are required to download the Boss Toolbox app as well and that's just on your App Store or Google Play as well so that is required and I'll show you kind of a walkthrough of that here in a second to get this installed you can just take your little 3 volt battery and you're just going to screw that cap off and they also do have this in here as well this needs to be removed in order to install our module. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you line up your connection on your module to your tool. Then take your battery, and then your battery's gonna get set in here like this. Now, I don't know why they do it like this, but as you see, that battery does not get connected in there. It's really just the force of this is gonna push the battery down on there. I'm not sure why they do that versus just put a clip on there, but it is what it is. So we'll go ahead and snap this in over here like this. Then we'll go ahead and then we'll tighten that down. And as you can see there, once it clips in there, the module is now installed. All right, so after we get the Bluetooth installed, the next thing we want to do is we need to download our app. Now you can obviously do this on your phone. I'm going to do it on my iPad here to kind of give you a bigger screen. But you want to make sure you download the Boss Toolbox app. And be careful, there's quite a few other Boss apps out there. Just make sure you're getting this Toolbox one and it's going to look similar to the icon that they have here. After you get it downloaded, this is going to be the screen that you're going to see and you obviously want to make sure your Bluetooth is turned on to this. So after the battery is installed on here, the Bluetooth is connected on here, it's telling us that we need to briefly activate that. Then we're going to press the add and as you can see there, it quickly brought up our tool. So we'll go ahead and connect and as you can see there, it's connecting over here. Then we're going to go ahead and authorize the app. So we'll hit yes and then in order to do that, you need to press any of the features over here on the tool and as you can see there it turned green back here and it did authorize our tool so now we can see that our tool is connected on the app then after you're connected and then you can just come in here and adjust whatever settings you want on this specific model one of the main features here is the electronic angle detection so it gives you the opportunity to adjust that angle and the degrees here some of the other things, and I'll just give you a quick demo here on the LED. So in here we can adjust the LED afterglow. So right now it's set at four seconds. So if you see there, that LED should stay on there for roughly four seconds. 
we can increase it. So we'll go, or we'll decrease it first. So we'll go to zero, we'll hit okay. And as you see there, it's flashing over there, it's connecting and it's gonna adjust that setting. So now after we're done pressing this, you can see that that light goes immediately off. And then we can come back in here and we can increase it all the way up to, you know, a minute or so. So there's quite a few different options in here. We'll quickly just put it back to 10 seconds or so. We'll see it's connected. And now you can see our light stays on for 10 seconds. So those are just some of the things. There's some other options in here where you can increase the LED brightness so we can make it brighter. Or we can decrease it as well. And now you can see again it's connected and it just adjusts some of the settings on there. So there's just different settings that you can do. And again, this is specific to the, the tool you have. As we move on to the charger, we'll swap this tool module over here. And obviously, if you have some connected tools, you're going to have multiple of these modules, most likely. But in our scenario here, we just have this one. So I'm going to just swap the module over here on this just to kind of see what options we get with this charger as well. And it's a very similar setup where you just pop that off. Then we'll go ahead and set our module in here. Again, make sure you line those contacts up with the contacts of the tool. And I'll go in there and then we'll put our battery. And then we'll go ahead and tighten this back up. And now we're installed there. So now we'll go ahead and we'll connect this to our app to kind of see what options we have on this. We'll come back over here to our app, we'll hit the plus, and we can see that it did find our charger, so we'll connect there. And as you can see there, it did connect our charger as well. So we're just looking in here briefly, there's some different options on this, and there's a charging mode, so we can do a max lifetime, we can do our standard, we can do the power boost. Now you can adjust those settings on this charger as well. If you guys aren't familiar with this 16 amp charger that they have, and this is the highest power charger that Bosch makes, you can do the power boost and you can adjust those, but you can also adjust some of those modes within the app. It does also have a storage mode, a charging status. So there's a type, there's percent full, time remaining, battery health. So we'll go ahead and we'll connect one of these Core 8H batteries on here and we'll see what it tells us. And as you can see it quickly shut off there because our battery is fully charged and we can see here on the app it's telling us it's fully charged as well. There are some different additional things in here and mainly the thing on this that I think is the most important, at least what I'm going to use, is this battery health. And if you look at the little icon here it gives you this information here that says the battery health is only going to give you an idea of it's excellent or good when you charge a battery from zero to 100%. So because this battery was already fully charged, it literally turned this charger on for probably five seconds and turned back off. It's not available on here, but if you did have a battery that was gonna completely fully charge from zero to 100, it will give you an idea of where this stands. And I think that's probably the main reason that I would be using this is specifically on a lot of my batteries. I'm just kind of curious on if one of these batteries is getting bad, it should give you an idea there that it would drop down to that good versus the excellent. But other than that, some of these other features on here from the percent full, you know, clearly you have your indicator on here as well. So you can just as easily look at your battery indicator versus looking in here in the app, but it does give you some additional features in there as far as the storage and the charging modes, etc. there. So, you know, depending on what you're trying to do, you may or may not get some use of them. All right, so one of my final thoughts here, as you saw there in the demo, it's really gonna get down to the specific tool that you have or charger in regard to some of the settings. I think one of the biggest things that I've saw over the years that people use these for is specifically on the hex impact. Now again, this isn't the connected ready version, but on the connected ready, it does have our module holder there and it does also give you the soft start feature. I think that might be one of the number one reasons I see people use this Bluetooth module on their hex impact. Now you could make the argument on the connected version, it does have the buttons over here. 
why doesn't boss just give you that soft start feature on the actual tool and not make you get the Bluetooth module in order to activate that option. But if you want that option, you're going to need to make sure you get the Bluetooth model. On some of these other tools like this one over here, the angle, you know, you can adjust some of the angle, but you can also further adjust that within the tool, whether or not you use that or not, or specifically, I don't necessarily use that. So that really isn't a feature that I really need. For me, the main reason I got this is on the charger and it's around that battery health. Now, again, you can do some other options as far as changing the, the charging and you can look at some of the storage options as well. They do have the battery life indicator, but if I want to know the battery life of a battery that I'm using, I'm just going to press the indicator here. I'm not going to go over there to the app and look at it. But when we look into the battery health feature that this has in order to tell you what's the health of that battery, I can't look at my battery and press that in order to get that feature. So I must use the module in here. And the charger, when it charges that battery from zero to 100%, it's gonna give you an idea of the battery health of that battery. So that is really the number one feature on why I got this. But other than that, you know, again, I think it's down to personal preference. You can make the argument, do you include this $20 module and some of these connector ready tools? You know, obviously what that's gonna do is just gonna increase the cost of the tool in order to give you that verse. There's a lot of people that might not get this connected ready module so they can get the tool for cheaper. So I guess, you know, there's pros and cons of both. Do you include the module or do you make people buy the module if they wanna use it? So I can kind of see both sides to it, but just kind of look at some of the options that you think you might need. Again, the battery is the number one reason for me. If you get into the soft start feature or if you need the angle adjustment, or any of the other tools that they have out there for connected ready, just get an idea, hey, if that's an option you want, for $20, I think it's worth it to kind of connect it. And it gives you some additional features in there, like the last seen or wasn't last used, you know, some of those types of options as well. So I think in the long run for $20, I think it's kind of a well-justified investment, but again, we'll let you determine that based on what you're trying to do there. So hopefully this helped you out. If it did, please give me the thumbs up. If you're interested in more content like this, please hit that subscribe. But again, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching.